Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I'm gonna be cutting out another custom compound cut keychain and sending it somewhere amazing. This is gonna be a real cool project for me. I'm gonna be cutting out this keychain and sending it to the people behind the scroll saw woodworking and crafts magazine, which is Fox Chapel Publishing. So really, really cool. They have been so kind to me. Quarterly, they put out this amazing magazine, Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts. This is the summer issue, and it's packed with amazing articles. It's got a fan gallery here, which I've been featured in, and thank you for that, guys. And they have full-size patterns that you can pull out and photocopy. And the publishers behind the magazine is Fox Chapel Publishing, and they have sent me these amazing Scroll Saw Woodworking books, and you've seen me make several projects out of them already. And they are packed with amazing patterns for all skill levels of the Scroll Saw. So I wanted to make something and give it to them just to show my appreciation. And if I'm going to make something and send it to this amazing company, I want it to be what I am known for. And that is the custom compound cut keychains. That is what originally got my foot in the woodworking community and social media door and really started getting my name out there because these are so unique. Here is the two that I always show off. Here's the one that says Artisan Pirate, so my name. And of course, with it being a through cut on the scroll saw, you know, it's reversed on the other side, but they're still a beautiful and eye-catching piece, and people just look at them and meticulously analyze them, just like, how can that be made like that? And they're always amazed to know it's made on a scroll saw, and there's one that says Myrtle Beach. You guys know my favorite place to vacation to. These are always with me. They're usually on the rearview mirror of the truck, or if I'm going somewhere like Myrtle Beach, I will take them off the rearview mirror, clip them on my book bag, and get tons of amazing comments on them. And I can say without hesitation that I've made between 800 and 1,000 of these keychains. And you can't stack cut these. These are just one-off pieces, especially if you have a unique name. And they take me around an hour, hour and a half to cut out, depending on the length of the name and what people want in it. You can do just a single name. I could just put artisan on both sides, and it would still look cool. But I do double words now, so really, really amazing and one person ordered them from me one time around September and they ordered 12 of them and they said they just wanted to order them in time to make them Christmas ornaments. So another unique idea for these. I've already got the pattern printed out and attached to our material and it says scroll saw woodworking. So how appropriate for the magazine that has featured me. So really, really cool. And this uses one inch square strips. So it's essential that your table saw is lined up at a perfect 90 when ripping down these strips to one inch square and that your scroll saw is at a perfect 90 when doing compound cutting because that is essentially what this is. Now if anyone wants to know where you can get the program it's still available as a free program download on Steve Good's website. I will link it down in the description box below. Once you go to his website, his blog, go all the way down to the bottom and there you see the keychain pattern generator and everything you type up ends up in this little keychain fob and what's funny about this Steve Good actually intended for this to only be two-dimensional cut out of one piece of half inch material as you see he has an example of one here with the name Kelly in it I have never cut one out in a flat two-dimensional way I have always went to the compound cut me method of cutting out and it was actually real cool that the first one I ever cut out just simply said pirate and I started showing it to people and then that snowballed into me making them for the family, family, friends, giving them as gifts, stocking stuffers at Christmas and now of course Christmas ornaments. So really, really cool. Really excited to cut this out and send it up to Fox Chapel Publishing and Scroll Saw Woodworking. Since everything is prepared, let's head over to the drill press, drill all of our pilot holes so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we quickly took a quarter inch drill bit and drilled out for the key ring that will be put on at the end of the project. And then we switched to a smaller drill bit for drilling out the rest of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And I really took my time lining up all of the pilot holes here to make sure everything will come out great. Now over at the scroll saw, we are beginning the scrolling process. And even though the material is one inch in thickness, I am still using the number five ultra reverse tooth blades for all of the cutting. You need that size blade for a lot of the sharp turns. And when I do these keychains, I like to start with the letters that have in themselves smaller internal cuts like A, R, K, W, M, letters like that before proceeding to the bigger internal cuts. And that's just what I do. I just think it makes sense to do all the smallest cuts first. The material we are cutting out is poplar. 
I think poplar is a very underrated wood. I think it has beautiful grain texture and looks great when clear coated. And now, once you start flipping the keychain over, you're going to have some pressure changes with how you feed into the blade because you will now have negative space on one side and the blade will simply fly through the material if you are not careful and keep a firm grip on your keychain while scrolling. I hope that makes sense. I do want to thank Steve Good for designing the amazing program for putting the letters in the keychain blank like we have here. And whatever name you type out will end up in those brackets to make the keychain. I have made so many of these keychains in the past out of various materials, cedar, oak, walnut, maple, and I've even ripped down a 2x4 and batched out a bunch of them that I gave as gifts. And just think if you have a very unique name, it could be a one-of-a-kind keychain. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Now, it took me around an hour to scroll this out. Again, I have been making these for several years now and I've just developed my own method and I know how the blade will work within the material and that's just from experience in doing all of these. Doing the final few internal cuts here. And then it will be time to release the two ends of the keychain. And that will require the assistance of some tape. And I will show you that process here in a minute when we get done with all of the internal cuts. And like I said, these are individual pieces. You cannot stack cut these. So it's just sitting at your scroll saw, enjoying your hobby. And I've just got on some good music and getting lost in my world of sawdust. Now that the final internal cut's done, we will retension the blade and I will double check to make sure of squareness of the table. And I will cut one end off and tape it right back, flip it over, and cut it out again which will make the rounded appearance and now cutting out where the key ring will go and I always overshoot the line here because you can always sand away and shape where the key ring goes once we get to sanding. Now I will remove the pattern and take it over to the initial sanding on the belt sander here sanding all four sides and then the rest of this will be done by hand. I will use my Marathon Rotary tool with a small sand and drum to give it a less blocky appearance. And you see on the workbench there, I already have more keychain patterns printed out. I had more to make. And I will just sand through the grits, getting it nice and smooth. And again, I'm just taking my time and making sure it looks good. And there I'm using the sand and sponge to round over everything. These are from Kling Spore, and they are amazing. And they last a long time. But now it's time to put the keychain on a hook, and I will give it several coats of Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss for years of protection. And once that dried a few hours, I put the key ring on it, and the keychain was complete. And here we have the completed scroll saw woodworking keychain cut out completely on the scroll saw. Once again, showing off the versatility and uniqueness of an amazing tool, which is the scroll saw. So really, really cool. 
thank you Steve Good for designing the software and the program that allows us to make these unique keychains. Again, he fully intended for you to cut out a keychain in two dimensional just out of a flat half inch or three quarter inch piece of material and not take it into the third dimension which I have done. I just put my own spin on it and he has been amazed at these. I have actually made one for him that says Steve on one side and Good on the other and give it to him personally when I got to meet him. But really, really cool. You can see everything there is nice and legible. The word scroll saw, big and bold, and then you flip it and it says woodworking. And of course with the nature of a scroll saw, the two other sides are reversed, but it's the main front in this word here that really encapsulates everything and really shows the uniqueness and versatility and they're always great conversation pieces of course with this one being so long it wouldn't be practical to be a keychain but just keep in mind if you go this route or even the two-dimensional flat route that Steve suggested keep in mind that these are made of wood this one is made of poplar and I've made them out of several different species of material but keep in mind at the end of the day they are made of wood and they will wear out eventually especially just think about it if it's a shorter name or something and it's on your key ring you're putting it in your pocket taking it out of your pocket or if it's a lady they're putting it in their pocketbook taking it out of their pocketbook Book, you know it's just getting tumbled around and beat up with the keys it will wear out a lot of people order these hang them from the rear of your mirrors like I do with the two I showed you at the beginning of the video or now using them as Christmas ornaments but really really cool this one is made out of poplar and it took me a rounded hour to cut out or a little less than an hour I've just have my own style of going about how I do everything but really really cool and I snuck behind the camera and actually cut out another one and this one says Fox Chapel publishing and this is the company that publishes the scroll saw woodworking crafts magazine so i'm going to pack both of these up once this video is published and send it to them and present it to them where they will have something in their office made by me that i'm actually known for again with steve good help with his program that he offers so really really cool and they're just great to make and i get a lot of orders for these around the holiday time or if it's around someone's like anniversary or like a party or something going on they'll ask for individual ones and of course i've done two names here in these you know scroll saw woodworking and then fox chapel publishing so you can just easily do the same name on both sides like just say someone's name's jerry you could do jerry all the way around or tammy tammy all the way around you know just like that and you might have to add some spaces or redraw the end brackets here and keep in mind when drilling for the key ring you only drill on one side and not both of them but I hope I've talked to you guys something in this video and this is just my way of showing appreciation to Fox Chapel Publishing and Scroll Saw Woodworking Crafts Magazine for not only featuring me in their amazing magazine that's sent all the way around the world but also sending me the books to where I can make more videos and document stuff for you guys about the Scroll Saw Woodworking hobby. That's about all for this one. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. Links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos and I'll also have links to Fox Chapel Publishing and Steve Good's blog where you can download the software as well down in the description box below. That's about all for this one. And remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.